Hey guys, Pastor Brad here. Hope you're having a great day. It is a beautiful day outside, and it's been a wonderful week here at Abilene, Wednesday night. Love seeing all the ministries around, getting in the Christmas spirit, and uh, I pray that you were there uh, for one of the last regular Wednesday nights of uh, 2021, and uh, that you'll be in your spot this coming Sunday morning for Sunday school and for worship. Uh, we're beginning a brand new study this Sunday at Abilene uh, out of Isaiah chapter 9. We're entitling this study, His Name Will Be Called. We're looking at Christmas through the eyes of Isaiah. We're specifically going to be looking every week at one of those four names, one of those four titles uh, for the Messiah that would come, the Christ of Christmas, uh, Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, and uh, looking at one of those a week and trying to figure out and see what the Bible would have to say that what, what do they mean and then why do they matter, not just at Christmas, but in our everyday lives. And so you're going to want to be here as we begin this really significant, special, meaningful uh, study uh, uh, through this Christmas season. And then Sunday night, our student choirs and children's choirs will be presenting their, their Christmas presentation. So you're going to be here Sunday night for that. Then also, busy week over the next week or so, uh, as we have the 43rd annual Abilene Baptist Church Singing Christmas Tree. Uh, tickets are going super quickly. Uh, matter of fact, if you wait until this Sunday to get your tickets, I can't promise that there'll be many or even any left. And so call the church office as quickly as you can and uh, pick up your tickets for one of the presentations. And then use these to give out, not just to other church members. This is not just to have something to give other church folks can check off their Christmas boxes, uh, but use these to give out to folks that don't have a church home, that don't know the Lord, and then invite them to come to hear the real story, the meaning, and the, really the story of, the, of the, what, what Christmas is all about. And uh, you can use that uh, and pray that they come to know the Lord as a result of that. And so pick up your tickets very, very quickly. And then also don't forget that our adult devotionals are going super fast this year. And uh, really nice devotional, one for 15, two for 20, uh, $10 everyone after that. And uh, Dr. Johnny Hunt's been putting these together for years. I'm blessed to be a, a part of the group of pastors that submits these every year. Uh, Thomas Nelson prints them, publishes them for us, for us, and they're really nice. And so take advantage of getting these for Christmas gifts, stocking stuffers, uh, for those folks who are going to start that quiet time back uh, the first part of the year. Super, super nice. So take advantage uh, of that. Lots of great things going on. All the Christmas parties, our carols, candlelight, and communion service there on the, on the 19th. That night, one of the most special, meaningful services of the entire year. If you're new to Abilene, you're going to want to be there for that. And so put that on your calendar. Don't, don't miss it uh, as we gather together to read the real story the night before Christmas and uh, to have our time of singing all the songs of the Christmas season. Season and, and having our family style Lord's Supper. It'd be a little different this year, but still very, very significant and meaningful. And then ending with a carol, with a candlelight service. And so put that on your calendar. And then don't forget, overflow offering, December 19th is the official date we're receiving that. We're receiving it now all the way through the end of the year. Our goal this year is $150,000 to go to finish out the lighting project in the main campus, which again helps us with our broadcast and live stream, all those sorts of things. And then the main part of that is going to the development and beginning construction process started, the development land, that sort of thing right now, contractors and engineers and architects, those sorts of things, to get that going on the new campus uh, out in West Columbia County, the new property. So uh, God's blessed us with 62 beautiful acres there. We don't, we want to kind of get moving on that and us working together, being sacrificial in our giving uh, can help us get, get started. And so join me and my family being very, very generous and uh, giving to this year's overflow offering. So that's a lot this week, guys. But God's been so good to us, excited about this Sunday, looking forward. If you've been out traveling the last couple of weeks, be back in your spot this coming Sunday morning for Sunday school and worship. It's going to be a great day. Lots of new faces, lots of new families. Good to see faces we haven't seen in a while back. So enjoy the rest of your weekend. I look forward to seeing you and your family this coming Sunday morning at Abilene, and I'll see you then.